Happy New Year everyone! Today is January 13, 2019. This is my first video for the New Year, so I'm uh, going to make it a brief one and uh, essentially I'm going to concentrate on looking at the gold uh, market. But before we do that, just take a brief look at the uh, S&P 500 and we're going to be uh, looking at the uh, E-mini, the ES. Okay, right here I got the uh, weekly chart here. As you can see, this long-term weekly chart here uh, this trend line started back in uh, you know near the end of uh, 2011 uh, to uh, to the present here. You can see price been uh, you know still holding that trend line even though recently you know last December it came down got close to it but it did not move below this uh, trend line or break uh, this uh, trend line here. It got a nice bounce back up and right now it appears to be approaching some of the uh, you know, uh, prior support level uh, turn to uh, resistance. So we're going to take a look at that uh, on the daily chart here. And right now you can see on the daily, let me zoom this up here, uh, you can see that I also got a uh, uh, a uh, Fibonacci extension here, essentially is a uh, basically a, a symmetry move, uh, type of major move, and you can see I've been uh, talking about 26, 21.25 uh, on my uh, Twitter uh, stream for uh, uh, a while on uh, you know one of the uh, potential target level, and it seems to be coincide with this 100% uh, uh, major move on this uh, symmetry move. Uh, that uh, 262150. So you can see right now I'm essentially looking for a uh, uh, maybe a one more push up to this resistance level and then maybe a pull back and try to retest this level down here somewhere around 2521.25 and see if we'll get a uh, get a continuation bounce up to this uh, this trend line here. Or the other scenario is uh, you know it uh, might uh, just uh, come back and uh, you know uh, push up here and uh, come down here and break get below this uh, uh, pivot here and maybe back test it and possibly come back down and uh, test this trend line here and that would uh, basically put in uh, some sort of a double bottom with a double bottom uh, pivot somewhere up here at the uh, 2621 so that be another scenario but of course the uh, the big scenario is if it uh, break below say uh, break below this uh, trend line here then we essentially probably be uh, looking for this thing to come back down to this balance zone here uh, near the uh, below the uh, 2200 okay so those are the key uh, level that I be uh, watching uh, it is the uh, 26 21 25 and uh, and then uh, probably see a little bit of a pullback depending how deep this pullback gonna be uh, there's a possibility if it's going to be a shadow pullback or a fine support above this uh, 2521 then we'll probably see a push up to the uh, 2675 which is uh, this trend line here then maybe we get a uh, a little bit more uh, the, uh, bigger uh, uh, pullback here. Extension I'm looking at is a uh, little bit of a pivot to uh, set up the higher high and then get up the higher low so we could uh, uh, possibly look at this uh, you know this uh, downtrend here get uh, set up for a reversal but uh, if we don't get that then we're essentially looking for this trend line for uh, possible support okay so and uh, just quick look at the uh, you know the uh, 60 minute chart here you can see that uh, you know we uh, got, you know been trying to uh, get up here I try to break this uh, level here somewhere around 26. So if we get a push up here, then that's basically uh, 26, 21, 25, and then maybe uh, you know come back down here and test uh, this uh, particular uh, uh, you know resistance uh, support level at the uh, 25, 21.25 there in the near term. Okay, so that's basically the ES. And now let's take a look at gold. Uh, gold is kind of interesting, and uh, you know to see would it be able to shine uh, for the uh, for this particular year. If you uh, go back and take a look at 2013, as you can see, at uh, 2013 it broke below this level here, right, and then it's just sort of you know establishing you know the next year or so establishing this level somewhere around 1380 as a, uh, a resistant level you can see that then it uh, pushes down for the next two years to this low here somewhere around the uh, 
you know, 1046, 1047 area, and then got a nice bounce back, right? And again, it came up close to this 1380 and found resistance and got pushed back down, right? But this time, when it got pushed back down, it did not get all the way down to that uh, 1046, this low here, right? You know, it did not get down to this low, right? You know, this low here, and actually uh, put in a higher low. Then it uh, pushes back up, uh, failed to get up to the uh, 1380, so it got pushed back down, got rejected again. Uh, once again, it got uh, close to 1380, so it uh, seems like it uh, made the, uh, the, the short uh, a little bit more braver this time. And again, they push it down, but again, look, uh, you know, it's formed a uh, higher high, I mean higher low. So right now, it seems like it uh, might come up and uh, maybe uh, test this uh, 1380 uh, uh, level again. So that's basically what I'm looking at right now is to see would it be able to uh, push up to this uh, 1380. And you can see this is a multi-year baseline here, resistance level. And if we could break about this 1380, 1400 area, then we probably could see gold make its move up here to uh, a little bit, uh, you know, in that uh, 1500 uh, uh, area uh, would not be uh, too surprising. Right, so that's basically you know, what I'm looking at on the goal. And if we uh, take a look at on the uh, daily chart here, you can see that uh, uh, made a uh, nice move, you know, starting uh, sort of last October here, last year in October. Got a little bit pulled back in uh, November and then kind of push up. So right now it seems like it might be uh, setting up a little bit of a balance here, consolidation, you know, in this area here. So if it chop around and then make a push up, then basically once it get above this, uh, you know, this zone here, uh, you know, this zone here somewhere around this uh, 1303, 1304, then uh, we could uh, see it uh, try to uh, work itself up and maybe uh, test this uh, 1380 once again. And that will be a uh, very uh, critical uh, level to keep an eye on because if we could break that level, like I said, you know, then we'd be uh, looking at a multi-year breakout and that could set up for some uh, you know, some uh, uh, major move here and uh, possibly could set up a, uh, a reversal of the, uh, you know, this, uh, this downtrend here, right? So, uh, so that's why I'm kind of uh, keeping a close eye on gold. Uh, if it uh, get a little pullback here on the short term, you know, we're basically looking at this level here, this zone here, if it pull back to uh, 1281 area, that might be a good, uh, you know, uh, short term uh, trade on the long side would stop slightly below that, but uh, if it doesn't get a bounce, and then uh, we look for the next level for it to pull back down, or you could play the uh, the uh, reversal side and short it down here, and then look for a bounce. But uh, the key is I'm gonna be uh, looking at this level and uh, see what it uh, come down and find some support and uh, give a little bit of a trade entry to uh, get long again. Okay, uh, I was long and I got out recently, so I'm just waiting for a uh, little pullback. But if it uh, move up without me, that's fine. I will wait until it get above this, uh, you know, get above this uh, 1303, and maybe get a little bit of a bounce and uh, back test, then uh, play it up to this uh, 1380. Okay, so that's basically. Uh, my first video for 2019 and uh, hopefully uh, you know the year has started out uh, good for you and uh, and so and uh, good luck on your trading and thank you for watching if you like this video give it a like if you're not a subscriber on my youtube channel click on the subscribe and also that little bell uh, icon so next time when i put up a video you'll be notified uh, that uh, a new video has been uploaded and uh, ready for viewing Okay, so once again, thank you for watching.